what's the good word, y'all? DKB here. So a little bit late, but I still thought the news was important. Our defensive backs coach slash safeties coach, Marquan Manuel, is going to be interviewing with the Carolina Panthers, and it looks like it's potentially for their defensive coordinator position while they're also out here looking for a head coach. And uh, I heard they were actually interviewing Sean Payton as well. So maybe somebody that, um, you know, could potentially join his staff. We'll see what ultimately happens with that. But in the midst, before we get into this, of uh, us looking for our own offensive coordinator and the vital staff that will surround him, more specifically at offensive line and wide receiver, maybe a senior assistant to go along, we forgot that our defense was essentially night and day from the 2021 season, uh, ranking close, if not dead last in many categories. And now we finished that as top five unit uh, for this 2022 season, which means a lot of people on that side of the ball, both player and coaching, is going to see significant praise for that. And uh, this is one of those fallouts that's going to happen um as a as an outcome of a successful defensive season for us. So I have a couple of concerns, right? Uh, Marquand Manuel, obviously coaching staff stuff isn't going to be 100% relevant to us until like off-season times more often than not. Uh, but former player coach, right? Sixth round of the 2002 NFL draft, uh, mostly played with the Bengals. When he got into coaching after he wrapped up his player career, um, he jumped in as a special teams coach with Seattle in 2012, um, ended up working his way as a defensive assistant and then assistant secondary coach. Um, so that's where you get kind of that Robert Sala overlap. Um, we know the, the kind of players and techniques that they like to teach, things like that. Um, and then we see him go over to Atlanta where he ends up being their secondary coach for two years and then their defensive coordinator for a following two years. Um, and then he ends up joining as the DB coach for the Philadelphia Eagles in 2020. And then we know he joins us in 2021. So um, he's had a pretty successful tenure with us. When you think about the position he was put in when he first jumped on, he had to work with 10 different safeties on defense in 2021, which was another terrible injury nightmare for us. But we've seen him capitalize on players like Jason Pinnock, who uh, the last couple weeks that we started him for the season was ranked as the number one safety. And then we've seen uh, a very solid uh, performance, not only on paper statistically, uh, but the game field. You can definitely see that it was uh, massive improvements for Ashton Davis, although there still was a lot to work with. Uh, but we've seen a successful season out of him, which is two guys that are, you know, kind of unheralded Ashton Davis being a, a walk on um, and kind of working his way as a blue collar guy. And then Jason Pinnock being a late round draft pick that had to convert from cornerback to see playing time. So I'm going to be a little bit sad to see him go. You know, even this year, LaMarcus Joyner, terrible couple first weeks to start. And then we've seen things really even out and, and the arrow point up for him. Uh, Whitehead was a little bit more of a different story, but there was a level of consistency still that you can count on with him. We just really needed to minimize the boneheaded mistake. So it'll be disappointing if he does get this position and uh, we see him go. Uh, I wasn't factoring initially having to look for uh, defensive coaching staff replacements, um, but this might end up being a legitimate concern for us in addition to having to find some of these offensive pieces. So we'll find out what ultimately happens with this interview, uh, hopefully sometime soon, uh, but keep it on the back burner. We might need to look for a new secondary um, safety coach. Uh, we already also had lost uh, Scruggs, who was the assistant defensive line coach. Um, so that's also another piece that we'll have to, uh, you know, hear news about. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are. I'll catch you again. Peace.